Can a sense of humor really help you laugh all the way to the top? Can a sense of humor really help you be more successful in your career? Well, of course it can. Why else would I be doing this video? I have 15 really good reasons as to why a sense of humor can help you succeed at work. It would be kind of silly if I did this video and then said, no, no, it really can't help you. Before we get to the 15 reasons why humor can help you rocket in your job, what do the studies tell us about, just in terms of the big picture, how humor can help you succeed? Robert Half, an associate study, found that 91% of executives said a sense of humor was important for career advancement, and 84% said they thought a person with a sense of humor performed better than more dour, more serious employees. A survey of 737 CEOs by Hodge, Cronin, and Associates found that they would rather hire a person who had a healthy sense of humor than a more serious person. A University of Missouri study found that employees who had a good, healthy sense of humor were more psychologically connected to their workplace, they communicated better, and were more productive. 80% of executives in an account temps survey said that a sense of humor was important for fitting in to their workplace culture. And yes, more funny can even sometimes lead to more money. A study by Fabio Sella found that there was a positive correlation between executives who had a healthy positive sense of humor and the size of their bonuses, and he found that outstanding executives were twice as likely to have a good sense of humor as more mediocre executives. A Bell Leadership study found that the two top traits employees said they wanted from their leaders was a strong work ethic and yes, you guessed it, a healthy sense of humor. So I think you get the picture. There are all sorts of studies that suggest a sense of humor really can help you succeed at work. And a sense of humor gives the perception we find in so many studies that people are more competent and successful in their jobs. But let me be clear, before I get to the 15 reasons why you need to embrace your sense of humor, I am not talking about telling jokes or being funny, so you do not have to run out and take stand-up comedy lessons anytime soon. It's not like you have to show up at work with a stand-up comedian microphone. Hey, good morning everyone, my name's Bob. I'll be performing here Monday to Friday, nine to five, down in the accounting department. I'll, I'll see you there. It's gonna be a hoot. Yeah, no, you don't have to worry about that. Having a sense of humor isn't about being funny. It's about having a sense of balance, a sense of perspective. It's about being more human, more real, more authentic. It's about bringing your authentic self to work. It is about just allowing that organic, natural humor that happens throughout the day to just flourish and to not squash it by being a fun sucker. It's about appreciating the humor that happens around you. It's about finding the humor that's around you as much as it is sharing the humor. It's about laughing at the things that you have no control over, which is probably quite a bit, and it is especially about laughing at yourself more. Is it not a truism after all that the more seriously a person takes themselves, the less seriously we all tend to take that person? Which is a little bit ironic because people take themselves seriously in the hopes of being taken seriously when the reality becomes we're not taking you seriously, bucko, because you're taking yourself so darn seriously. So it's about taking our job seriously, yes, of course. It's about taking our customers and clients' concerns seriously, yes, of course but it's about taking ourselves lightly in order to be even more professional and serve our customers and serve our colleagues in a more professional way. So with that, reason number one, humor can help you succeed, is it helps you be more likable. This isn't rocket science, folks. People like people who have a good sense of humor. People wanna work with people who have a good, healthy sense of humor. And you might be thinking, well, I don't care if anybody likes me. I just wanna get my job done. You know, I just wanna go in. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make best friends with everybody here. Well, okay, that may be fine. Maybe you are a lone wolf, but here's the deal. If people like you, it's gonna be a lot easier at work. You're gonna be happier. You're gonna feel like you belong and fit in better. You're gonna build relationships better. And most importantly of all, you are going to build goodwill capital with the people around you. If you bring a healthy sense of humor along for the ride and don't take yourself too seriously, you will be able to ask 
for favors a lot easier. I guarantee you, you will have less conflict with your colleagues at work. When you go to ask a request of somebody, chances are they are going to say yes. And when you mess up because you've done a boneheaded thing the way we all do, they are probably going to be more forgiving because you are known as somebody who has a good sense of humor. Number two, you'll be more approachable, which is related to number one, being more likable, but you'll be more approachable. People won't be afraid of you. When you share your sense of humor, it sends the pretty powerful message, I don't bite. Reason number three, related to reasons number one and two, is that you can build trust in the workplace. A University of Pennsylvania study found that there's a positive correlation between people who share a healthy sense of humor and how much we trust those people. And I think it's because when you share a sense of humor, when you're able to laugh at yourself, it makes you more real. It makes you more vulnerable. It makes you more humble, it makes you more approachable again. And for all those reasons, because you come across more authentic, people are going to trust you more. Number four, a sense of humor can help you manage stress. In fact, I've interviewed psychologists who have told me that they think that a sense of humor is possibly one of the most powerful stress busters available to us. A sense of humor helps you relax in the face of even a really stressful challenge. It's like an instant vacation, as Milton Berle said. It doesn't make your problems magically go away, but it helps you see things in a more realistic, healthy light. It changes your perspective. It helps you reframe challenges so you can find the funny in them. A sense of humor helps you respond and not just react. And there's a difference between those two things. We have to remember stress is in the eye of the beholder. Stress is about how you interpret the things that happen to you at work. It is not the things that happen to you. It is how you interpret those things that causes you stress. Well, humor is in the eye of the beholder as well. So people that practice a healthy sense of humor, that practice reframing, reinterpreting the things that are happening to them so they can find the humor in those challenging situations, tend to be more resilient at work and and they manage their stress far more effectively. Number five, related to managing our stress, is humor to be a powerful tension breaker. We've all been there, right? You've been there. Maybe it's dinner with the in-laws or a meeting situation where somebody says something so inappropriate, so stupid, the oxygen disappears for a few minutes from the room. And then fortunately, something funny happens or somebody says something funny and it's like an emotional release valve. Humor is an incredibly powerful tension breaker. It can help you reduce the temperature in a conflict situation. It can help you reduce the tension when you're having a challenging conversation at work so you can focus on the results of the conversation without that stress, without that conflict getting in the way. Number six, humor is a powerful morale booster, not just for you, but for your teammates. You know, you have a choice. You could be the seagull at work, <coughs> crapping all over everyone's ideas and thoughts and opinions, or you can be the person who is known as the person who lifts everybody's spirits up. There was a study of the proverbial office joker in IT companies, and they found that that proverbial office joker played an incredibly important role in maintaining morale in the workplace, in helping lift everyone's spirits, in retelling and resharing stories about those workplaces, the, the history. So the office joker kept the history alive. They strengthened the culture and they boosted everyone's spirits during challenging times or even sometimes just when work was getting a little boring. They were known as the person who were, were, was the glue of the team who could lift everybody up in those moments. Number seven, a healthy sense of humor and loads of laughter is physically good for you. It's not just mentally good for you, it is physically good for you. We've all heard the expression, laughter is the best medicine. Now, I'm not sure that it's the best medicine. Is it better than penicillin? I don't think so. I'm not sure if the photocopier fell on you, you should probably call 911 before you think about laughing. However, we do know there are some benefits to laughing that can help us physically. When you have a good laugh, it massages your muscles where you pick up a lot of tension, right? It increases the oxygen going to your brain and oxygen going to your brain at work, highly recommended. It increases saliva immunoglobulin A, which helps fight respiratory infections. According to a Simon Fraser University study, laughter works faster to relax our bodies physically than either Valium or vodka. Well, Dr. William Fry suggests that 20 or 30 seconds of good hearty belly laughter is the same physical workout as two minutes on the rowing machine. So now you know what I do. I just go down to the gym and I 
laugh at the people working out. <laughs> we know that laughter makes us feel good. When was the last time you had a really good laugh and said, call 911, I feel horrible. So we know there's some stuff going on there that makes us feel good. So that's yet another reason why it can help us succeed. In fact, a study of 50,000 Norwegians found that women who had a healthy, positive sense of humor had an 83% lower risk of having a heart attack, 73% reduced risk of dying from infection. The results were similar for men, not quite as powerful for men, but pretty similar. So a healthy sense of humor might even help you live longer. In fact, their study found that people with a healthy sense of humor lived on average eight years longer. Number eight, you'll be perceived as being more intelligent. There are some studies that suggest that when you share your sense of humor, people think you are smarter because it takes a certain level of smarts to look at the world in a little bit of a different way and to find and appreciate the funny in the world. Number nine, you will be seen as more confident. Not only will you be seen as more confident, I think when you share your sense of humor at work, you will gain more confidence yourself. But several studies suggest that people who view other people sharing their sense of humor tend to think that they are more confident. A study in the Harvard School of Business found that when writers wrote even not very good puns, you know, dad kind of puns at the end of testimonials, the people reading those testimonials with the bad puns in them, people thought the person who wrote those testimonials with the puns, they rated them as having 37% higher status, more competency, and more confident than other people. People who share a healthy sense of humor are more likely to be picked as the team leader because they're seen as being more confident. And isn't this cool? It's been found that even when jokes flop at work, and remember, we're not always talking about telling jokes here, but even when your joke flops, it's still been shown that people find you more confident. Number 10, a sense of humor can help you be more creative. There are all sorts of studies that suggest ha plus ha equals aha. A sense of humor helps you look at the world in a different way. It helps you think about things in a different way. It keeps that seagull voice, those negative referee idea killing voices that live in all of us at bay so that you're more open to new ideas and so that you can come up with new ideas and better ideas. There's a huge correlation between humor and creativity. Number 11, humor will help you communicate with your colleagues, with your boss, with your customers more effectively. Humor can help your messages stand out from the herd to be heard. Humor can help your messages stick and land. Humor can help you disagree with your colleagues or even your boss without being disagreeable, which is an incredibly important skill to develop in any job. Reason number 12, a sense of humor will help you be more memorable with your customers. You will stand out with your customer service experience, which will maybe give you higher ratings or higher surveys. We know in some studies of servers in restaurants, they will get higher tips if they bring their sense of humor along for the ride. So a sense of humor really can help you connect with your customers, build trust with your customers, and help you be more memorable. Number 13, humor can help you boost your sales. Even just a uh, lighthearted, off-the-cuff, funny line at the end of a sales pitch has been shown to increase customers' willingness to buy by 18%. There was one study where they were selling a piece of expensive artwork where in one half of the study, at the end of the sale pitch with this nice, beautiful painting, the seller offered to throw in a pet frog, kind of a goofy offer, but here's what happened. Whenever they offered the pet frog, resistance to the asking price of the painting went down. A little humor can help you boost your sales. Number 14, yes, a sense of humor will help people see you as more physically attractive. It's true, they've done studies where they show same person, only, you know, person A version of you, serious looking, dour, not very good sense of humor, person B, big smiling face, looking happy, looking jovial. In the bio, we learn that you have a great sense of humor or in the video, it's shown that you have a great sense of humor. People rate that version of you as better looking than the more serious one. So me, for example, what, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like a five on a good day, but when I share my sense of humor, I think I'm like 5.3.
And number 15, finally, a healthy sense of humor really can help you maintain a more positive, healthy mental outlook, even in the face of challenges, even in the face of a lot of stress. Now look, it's not about putting on rose-colored glasses or just walking around with a frozen smile on your face and saying, turn that frown upside down, everyone. But the more you practice your sense of humor, the more you intentionally look for the funny in your job, in your day-to-day -day life, of course, it can't help but help you focus on the more positive in the world, help you focus on the more positive in your workplace, help you maintain, even in those rough patches, a healthier outlook so you can tackle those challenges in a more sustainable, resilient, healthy way. 15 excellent reasons why a sense of humor can help you succeed at work. 15 reasons why, yes, you might be able to laugh your way to the top. Did I miss any though? Let me know. If you liked the video, hit the like button and drop me a comment in the comment box. What did I miss? We could probably come up with 30 reasons. Or send me a note about how humor has helped you succeed in your career. How has it helped you get out of a difficult situation or a jam? And while you're here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel here, join our growing community, and remember that if you live each and every day as though it were your last, sooner or later, you'll be right.